please raise your question. We have 10 minutes, we can discuss. Be frank. If you have not understood something, go ahead and ask. This is something new. I am sure most of you have not learnt it this way. And with this understanding, we go to module 3. You can type your question or even better speak. In the olden days, both in India and in Greece, the teacher will not open his mouth until the student asks a question. Problem with our modern education is we give you the answers even before you ask the question. And you are happy reproducing the answers. Not a very healthy way to learn. So please learn to ask questions. Okay, I think I have one question. How to compute rotation factor? Okay, now you have gone outside this topic. I want to stay with slope deflection method. Rotation factor goes to Kani's method. Distribution factor goes to moment distribution method. Let's stay with slope deflection method. In fact, you can derive all those from the stiffness measures that we have, 4 EI bell and 3 EI bell and so on. So let's not confuse people. The right way to learn, in my opinion, is learn slope deflection method first, then go to moment distribution method and Kani's. So stay here and your question must be here. Yeah, one more question. In example 10, how the degree of freedom will be 2? Because you have only two rotation unknowns, theta b and theta c. In fact, in today's problem can be simple. I remember in that problem, okay, if you look at this problem, example 10, see, look, look at the joints. Theta a is 0, delta a is 0, theta b here is unknown. Theta C is unknown, theta E is 0, theta F is 0. Theta D, we take advantage of the fact that this is a hinge support, we do not need to apply a moment. So, you have only two rotations unknown, theta B and theta C. That is pretty clear. I hope that answers your question and we solved the problem also. Any other question? Can you please describe again how to modify the fixed end moment for propped cantilever? Okay, good. Good question. Okay, this is a question. How do you find fixed end moment in a propped cantilever? So, we first said if you have a propped cantilever and you have a constant moment B, we know very well that half that moment is going to carry over to the other end, and this we have proved. So, whenever you have a case like this, MF naught AB is the constant moment of that B, NBA, which is known, divided by 2 with the same, then to this AB minus MF BA by 2. Let us demonstrate this with two applications. Unsymmetrical loading, we want to find MF naught AB. MF naught AB is whatever you got to fix in moment, MF AB as minus WAB squared by L squared, then minus of half the moment on the other side where the actual moment is 0. That is how you get it. If you have a symmetrical loading, you do exactly the same, but you will end up very conveniently with one and a half times the moment that you start. You need to practice and you will understand. We will call it a day today and I look forward to seeing you.